Hi, I hope you're having a great day. It is Saturday, September 26th, and I am in Springfield, Illinois, and I just arrived at the state capitol. That is not a protest. That is a prayer service for the National Day of Prayer and Repentance that is also happening in Washington, D.C. today. And I guess here at the Illinois State Capitol. Unfortunately, since I'm here on a Saturday, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get into the Capitol but it is an absolutely lovely building and I have enjoyed checking it out. Please forgive my obnoxious yellow shirt. It is the first game day for the University of Missouri. We are playing Alabama tonight. And so the Tigers are gonna need all the support that they can get. So since we can't get in to see the interior of the Capitol, I'm starting to work up a little bit of an appetite. I thought I'd take you along to enjoy one of Springfield, Illinois' delicacies. Let's check it out. Springfield, Illinois is known for its chili, usually spelled the non-traditional way with two L's, but not here at the Chili Palace where they supposedly serve the best bowl. Let's check it out. You'll see it is served with grease on it. The grease is where these spices are. It comes in a variety of spiciness going all the way up to firebrand which if you finish a bowl of firebrand they put your name on the wall 11 bowls is the record which i imagine is a feat not only for the spiciness but for eating 11 bowls of chili i went with the medium so let's see how it is it's um, probably about 60 degrees outside perfect day perfect fall day for some chili definitely has grease the grease comes through in the medium I got a little scared off by the fire brand and the challenge. So I would normally order it hot, but I went with medium. Medium is not very hot. If you like spicy things, you can probably go all the way to hot. But it uh, is a substantial, substantial chili. It's, I would say, mostly the beef, some beans. It's served with oyster crackers, which helps soak up some of the grease that it's served with. And overall, I would say that it is very good. I probably eat it regularly in the fall if I lived around here.
Should keep us spelled up for the day. All right, I filled up on some chili. Now, no trip to the land of Lincoln would be complete without visiting Lincoln's home and museum. So let's go check it out. And here we are at the Lincoln Home National Historical Site. Let's check it out. The visitor center is closed due to COVID, but you can walk down a little bit what it would have been like to live in this neighborhood when Lincoln did. So they've done a little recreation. just got out of the Lincoln Museum and I was actually pretty disappointed. It seems like the museum was made for fifth graders with short attention spans who know very little about American history and focuses mostly on multimedia presentations and had very few interesting artifacts or 
exhibits, to be honest. It's $15 for adults. It took me maybe an hour to go through it all, and that's with their two movies. I would honestly probably recommend people skip it. But overall, I've had a great time here in Springfield, Illinois, back in the van, and it's time to hit the road. Thanks for coming along with me, and I will have another video for you soon. So subscribe and follow along to see where I'm off to next. See you soon. Bye.